Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion, where it's thunder and lightning outside. And rain and all the rest of it. Typical air wind weather, unfortunately. As you can see. It's, uh, it's, it's just, it's just marvellous. Um, it's the following morning, obviously. I'm waiting. A little food and drink some will do you some good. Uh, you... Fine, I guess I'll have an apple. Thank you for your patronage. Maybe I got something in my bag I can eat as well. <laughs> Through. He said to the inanimate object. So I think we've I've decided we're gonna go through with this whole Knights of the White Stallion malarkey. Um, if only to preserve our uh, our cover story, so to speak. Um, I think I think that's what we're going to do. Um, Mazoga obviously wants to do it as well, and we kind of like Mazoga. She's all right, you know. Like she was a bit horrible to start with, but actually, now we know more about her, it's kind of like she's uh, uh, actually not so different from ourselves, you know. She very blatantly has her own quite questionable past as well, and, you know. Well, Arthur certainly hasn't made the decision, decision to go out there and make the world a better place. Um, you can appreciate the fact that, that she has, based on everything that's happened to her, I suppose. Um, I think Arthur's, Arthur's being somewhat forced to admit to himself that actually he's a bit of a selfish, greedy bastard at the end of the day. Um, and I'm not sure how he feels about that right now. Although, <laughs> you know what? I kind of want to just stay here. I don't want to go walking out into the into the swamp in this kind of weather. This is just this is ridiculous. <laughs> like, come on, really? Ah. Uh. I mean, I don't know where these voices are coming from. Um. Food everywhere. I'm not allowed at any of it. I'm I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. What's the dude say? Just a tad, you know. Burps coming from places where there's not people. Uh, uh. <laughs> um. Yeah. I think we're just gonna stay here for at least a while. Have a mug of tea, do some planning, that sort of thing. Wait till the afternoon. Ah, marvelous! The weather seems to have cleared up. Fantastic. My ear, what what the want? hell are you guys? Join the guild and fight for gold. No thanks. Although that seems to be what I'm about to do, but that's not really why I'm doing it. <laughs> So our plans for in Leowin at the minute really are just to, uh, you know, go ahead and do this thing with Mazoga for the Count, and um, then rob the Count blind, basically, because the Count and Countess sound like deeply disturbed individuals who need to be taught a lesson. So they have no qualms. At all, whatsoever, about doing that. I wouldn't, even if they were normal people, to be honest, either. To, to, to be fair, but you know, <laughs> you know, it's it's like it, at the minute, like I feel like Arthur's being a feeling feeling a little self conscious about his life choices, and um, at least he's able to justify this theft on account of the fact that the count and countess are horrible, horrible people. Um, <laughs> so. Right. There you are. If you're ready to go get Black Brugo, I'm ready to follow you. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I said. Well met. Now, ordinarily, I don't think Arthur would do this in a million years on account of the fact that he's a terrible fighter. However, 
Mazoga is not a terrible fighter. She's kind of a badass, so um, it's different. So where are we going? Pretty sure she told us. Ah, we're going up there. Okay, it's not very far, but uh, I still didn't want to go out there in the, in the thunder and lightning and rain. So yeah, I mean, who Leave would? Me who, who, who would, really? I wouldn't. You probably wouldn't, you watching. Admit it. Um, there's the big old temple, or chapel, or whatever we're calling it. Hmm, never noticed this little bit back here. It's a little graveyard. Hmm, not very big, is it, really? Considering the size of the town. Ah, Morrowind soundtrack. One of the best songs from it, actually. Where are you off to, Patsy? Why are you leaving your gate open? This is what happens. My horse is bolting extremely slowly. Whatever. She's a free spirit, I guess. Um, <laughs> doesn't like fences. Um, don't go too far, all right? Is that... Oh boy. I was going to say, is that a Gua? Yes, it is. It's also hostile. And it seems really intent on killing me. Go kill Mazoga or the guard. Why me? Leave me alone. Ah. Ouch. Also, my game pros. Cannot negotiate the gate. Crazy Gua, what are you doing? You guys get it? Is it dead? Looks like it is. <laughs> okay, we're off to a great start then. It's a wild swamp Gua. Oh, we restore hell. Okay. Um. Man, the swamps are crazy. There's loads of weird creatures here. Okay, where are we going? We're going this way, apparently. There's a little camp here. Undertow Cavern. What do you want to bet that even though it's like a stone throw from the town, it's full of bandits or something? I'm not interested. I'm not going in there. Hopefully I've got some shield potions with me today. Also, yeah. No. If, I'm in a, if I'm in a really tight spot, I can just use my um, one of my jink blades, but they have very, very, very limited uses, so I tend to be very sparing with them. Plus, the, the enchantment on them is, to be quite honest, pretty OP. So, uh, typically, if you get, like, in a paral paralysis effect on something in this game, it's for, like, two or three seconds, not 30 seconds. Um... So I typically try to just use it for when I'm doing thief stuff and I want to incap incapacitate someone. Um, as opposed to just winning fights with random bandits using it. I hope you can appreciate that, guys, because I'm sure someone will be like, why don't you just use that? Um, right, we've got plenty of poisons. Uh, we've got plenty of cure disease out here in the swamp, which is, I suppose is probably a good thing. Um, and I've got shield potions. Lots of shield potions. Okay, good. I feel prepared now. Is this the place? I guess it must be.
Yeah, maybe we should come here at night or something, actually, because we could sneak in and around the place, but uh, I don't see anyone here. Doesn't seem to be anyone around the outside. Around the outside, around the outside. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I tell a lie. There is someone here. Oh. Oh. Zoga, seriously. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh. Nice. I was sort of detected, but apparently not by her. Within a second, Mazogo, just doing my uh, parkour thing as I try and get up here. Except you've fallen down, haven't you? I bet. Wow, my acrobatic skill's pretty good, huh? <laughs> I got up here no trouble at all. Seriously, though, where did this... Lost in the long grass somewhere now, I bet. Bother. I mean, I sort of shot from that direction, so she probably fell off down. Ah, there you are. Okay. Not much that valuable, but whatever. Okay. So. Can we trees? Pl trees? Try and be sneaky. Please try and be sneaky. Just a little bit. Of course, I could probably be sneaky even if Mazoga's not. Luckily. I'll be the classic, like, D&D &D rogue that sneaks up on people in combat and backstabs them and stuff. <laughs> Black Brugo? I know we are. I just, I just wanna, I just wanna loot stuff first. We might have something we can use against him. Maybe. I mean, I'm just taking gold. I mean, I, I'm not. I, I need this. Uh, red loaf. Okay, fair enough. Detect life on all the notes, so. That uh, probably opens that, right? Oh, hello. So it's like, I fail to see how this is relevant to what we're doing here. Handwritten note. Rugo's take 300 ducks ready for Midas pickup after midnight. You see, we stole his stash. Isn't that brilliant? We could just leave now. No. Oh, no. Okay. <sighs> Fine. Should have used the poison. Get him? I'm not sure who's who. Oi! It's fleeing. What? He just disappeared into thin air. I guess it was a teleport spell, huh? Black 
slow. I know you can take these black bows. I mean, how much damage does it do? It's not going to be as good as my ebony one, surely. No. Um, I know you can take these later on to get, you know, to, to ha get a bounty for them. But A, we don't know that yet. And B, I don't think I particularly want to see Count Caro's face again, ever. No. Is it, is it Caro? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure I particularly want to see the Count's face again after all this is done, so... Um. Hmm, no Black Brugo. Weird. I'm with you, friend. We kill Black Brugo, and the Count makes us both knights. Expect Brugo and his boys in Telepi after midnight. Oh. This is what happens when you when you play the game a week later and you forget the little details like that. You too. Crap. Um We need to get rid of you. <laughs> we we need to we need to get rid of you. A friend teleported out of here using some sort of illegal teleportation scroll. Um but you, we need to we need to get rid of. Um, Dump you behind here. Never know. It's fine. Just don't want Black Brugo to be alerted to the fact that someone's killed half his gang. All right. It's fine. We close that. It's like we were never here. Come on. Come on, Mazzo. Let's get there. All right. See? It's like we were never here. The other one's teleported away. Hopefully not to go and warn Black Brugo, but... Maybe he'll, hopefully he'll think, he'll get here and he'll think that these two here that have stay, stayed here just robbed the place and split. Like they robbed him and he'll be angry about that, but he won't be like, someone's come here and killed my my gang, I should probably leave. Hopefully. That's the, that's the plan. I like to think she was trying to tell Arthur the entire time, like, Arthur, like, like there's, you, you forgot something important. Not now, Mazoga. Not now. Like, I'm busy. Yeah, but it's kind of important. No! Shut up. <laughs> uh, right, there's a dead guar down there still. Where's this little camp outside this cave? Let's just chill here until midnight, I guess. Yeah, here we go. Just wait here. Swap stories around the campfire until we get to midnight, huh? I love this bit of music that's playing right now. It's from, uh, I believe it's from the original medieval Total War. Yeah, it is. Um, right. just before midnight, so he'll be there by the time we arrive. Okay, I don't know if they've got another sentry outside. So, <laughs> I 
Where's all the frogs? Right, I don't think there's anyone out here. Good. Hopefully you didn't find the, the body of the other sentry out here in the grass. We should have moved that, but never mind. All right. Whoa, they just came in, apparently. Oh, what am I doing? No, no, mouse, what are you doing? Okay, that was awkward. I don't know how they didn't spot you, Mazoga. Good grief. There's a few of them, isn't there? Rest of the gang's back. Oh boy! Oh no! Where are you? Uh. Where's my best damage health? Oh yeah. Don't feel bad. No one lives forever. Uh. Shield! Shield! Okay. Now I can fight you. Don't uh. drink any more potions right now. What? <laughs> right, let me get right. <laughs> you move like a hey. cow. This is the wrong weapon. I forgot to hotkey the other one. Ooh. Where is it? I'm not attacking, game. Or I'm gonna die. Just literally restore health like right now, but I can't because the game's being the game. Do I have anything I can I can heal with? No, I don't. I know what I can do. Oops. I was stupid. I just got rid of the invisibility immediately. Ooh. Die, damn you. Ooh. Did, 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 did damage health. Do it. Ah. Ah, uh, how am I not dead right now? Oh, oh now I'm dead. <laughs> oh, so close. Uh, there he is. All right, quietly does it. Since apparently I cannot heal myself because I won't, it won't let me use potions if I decide to use shield plus plus my life detect and stuff. So that's well, that's rough. Ain't being a bit of a douchebag there, I think. To be honest with you, um, oh boy. Okay. Wrong weapon. This ends here. Alright, damage health with fire. Uh oh. Hi. I'm going to use dragon skin. Oh. 
Where's my... Do I have it? I have a shield, right? Yeah. Save that one for mages, but sod it. How much health do you have, dude? Ow. Ugh, need fatigue. Need fatigue. Uh I don't need I don't <laughs> I don't want another detect life. Uh, yeah, it's probably true. At least in a fight, I do. There we go. Use this. Poison is doing nothing to you. Being having the crap beaten out of me, and I'm armed with an axe and a shield, and this guy's armed with fists, and he's beating me. <laughs> Why do I suck so bad? Ah! Uh, so good, help! Die, Kerr! Screw you, buddy. Oh god, it's Black Brigo. Oh boy. Alright. You know what we're doing? We're going invisible. That's what's happening right now. I'm gonna do this! Aha! Alright, he doesn't know where I am. I don't know what's happened to Berserk. He's probably knocked unconscious. Um, I'll take these. Thank you very much. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, uh oh. Ah! Ow! It's dark corner. Maybe he won't. Maybe he won't be able to find me. <laughs> I'm like Batman. <laughs> he was here. You there. Stop where you are. I'm not oh, going to stop where I am. With. Screw you. Ha <laughs> 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 gotcha. Uh, right. Where'd Mazoga go? Well, there you are. What? She's dead? I don't know if she can actually die. <clears throat> no, she just got knocked really hard on the head, guys. It's fine. What up? Black Brugo is dead, right? So I'm going to be a knight? Yes. I'll go back Against all odds, I was wrong. the one that killed him in the end. You'll tell me when I'm a real knight, please? Okay, fine. That might help you wear in the end. I wasn't... I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't going to do that all over again. Wait a minute. Black yeah, you... Why are you following me, though? 
They're not supposed to be following me. I don't know. Uh... <sighs> Okay, well, job's a good one. <laughs> you see, Black Brugger, you fool. I used my brains. You used your brawns, and I won. Um. Whoa, hello. Come on then. Die, damn you! Did you where the hell do you think you're going? Did you get her? I can't see anything, it's too dark. <laughs> I think she's dead. Where where'd she go though? Disappeared. I probably didn't have anything that valuable anyway, it's just a mage. Hedge wizard, whatever. You still following me or what are you doing? Looks like no. Okay, well I'm gonna follow you back anyway. Yeah, I, I I wasn't I didn't want to do that fight all over again just just to just to make sure Mazoga didn't die. Um, I honestly for, honestly I I thought that she was marked as essential, and that was kind of why my battle plan, if you could call it that, went the way it did. Otherwise, I might have gotten stuck in a bit more. But um, yeah. Because either otherwise I would have had I would have reloaded to uh, to make sure she didn't die, and then I would have had to do the fight again probably like three times, and yeah. Although of course I'm so I'm sure there's some evil git in the comments who's like oh no you should I, you should have it would have been good if she'd stayed dead. Like some people like that when I left Merlin in the painting by accident they were like oh no you should have left him in there I'm like no, it's Merlin. You bastards. Of course I'm not going to leave him in there. Especially when it was like a quirk of the game misbehaving itself as well and not actually my fault. And to be quite frank, it's a little bit absurd that Mazoga should end up dying and Arthur somehow doesn't. Considering he's such a Unbelievable weakling. Don't make no sense to me. But whatever, this is the way we're doing it. So deal with it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, basically. Because I know there will be people in the comments saying I shouldn't have reloaded or I shouldn't have I shouldn't have reused the console there, but uh, you know whatever. What's up, Patsy? Right, well, I mean, you can go to the castle straight away if you want, but I'm not. I'm going to bed. <laughs> hey, 
speak. No. Um. Go on. There's. Yeah. Leave me alone. You can leave me alone. Try and sleep with all that noise going on. Ugh. Let me stop the music and st thank you. Hi. At least it's a lovely day outside. <sighs> Greetings, Breton. I imagine Arthur's a little bit a little bit sore this morning. Like uh, he's probably covered in bruises, etc. Like not fe not feeling terrifically great right now. It's like every time he walks out. I imagine getting out of bed this morning was probably quite a trial. <laughs> Spare a coin for the Questions? I mean, I'm even going the wrong way right now. Aren't? Well, I'm not going the wrong way. I'm just going... I'm taking the scenic route, apparently. Uh, oh, bakers. Yes, you'll have some proper food. Stop in here before we go to the castle. Ah, you have returned. You must be craving another one of my wife's masterpieces, no? Actually, yeah. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Uh, you can interest me in. Oh, I need these for uh, potions. But um. You can interest me in some cheese and uh, potato bread. Why not? Tell your friends about me. Oh, it's making me hungry this now. One wishes you well. Oh, food, food, want food. Where'd he go? I have a sweet roll. Huh. I guess I'll eat that too. Um, potato bread, cheese, and uh, the sweet roll. Um, let's have a look, see if I can make any more potions. I, uh, I kind of have enough potions as it is, to be honest. But, you know, um... I need some rat meat. It's not something you say very often, but I actually do need some rat meat. Um, uh, yeah, I can't use stinkhorn caps because they also do restore magicka. And get some more poison ingredients as well. Um, oh, hello, dragon's tongue though. That'll work. Stinkhorn cap. Uh, Right, yeah. I need to remove you. Yeah, you're no. Mm, yeah, see, you're the problem. I, I need to remove the stink on cap and use this instead. There we go. Come on. With fire. There we go. It's only one, it's uh, better than nothing, I guess. Also, uh, where's the cake gone? There it is. Imagine mushing up perfectly good cake just to make a potion out of it. Oh well. <laughs> That's what I gotta do. Right, to the castle then. Seem it's ogre in there, but should be around oh somewhere. Oh my! Are you an adventurer? My lord! I hope you are here to tell me of Black Brugo's death. 
I am indeed. What news do you have of Black Brugo? He is dead. Justice has been done, and henceforth you shall be known as Knight of the White Stallion. May I present you with the perquisites of your rank, a key to White Stallion Lodge and a shield bearing the arms of County Leowin. And I promise you a bounty of 100 gold for each black bow you bring me. Mm-hmm. Marvelous. Okay. Good. So that's it then, huh? I got a shield. Day, sir. So I'm nice. Listening. Yeah, there's, there it is. It's my shield. Anoint. Well, I guess I'm a knight now. I'm Sir Arthur. I don't feel very, feel any different. No, oh, there you are. Did you tell the Count about Black Brugo? Yep. So, am I a knight? Uh, we're both knights errant, apparently. I don't know what a knight errant actually is, though. But, you know, we're both one of those. God's ghoulies. Not just a knight, but a... A knight errant. That's a real special kind of knight, right? I guess. So go on. Say it. Say, I greet you, Sir Mazoga. <laughs> <laughs> I greet you, Sir Mazoga. Thank you kindly, Sir Knight. Sounds good. Damn good. I'm a knight errant now, and I don't care who knows it. So thank you. You've been good to me, and I won't ever forget it. So I better get started doing my good deeds, and maybe I'll see you at the White Stallion Lodge. Yeah, I suppose so. I like Leowin. That count got you to help me. Damn nice, both of you. Think I'll stick around. Maybe do some good deeds here. Mm -hmm. You too. Well, would I really call it a good deed? I'm about to do something tonight, I think. Yeah, tonight. Unless we forget, we need to get that ring as well. We'll be heading to the the the, the countess counting countess's chambers anyway, because I'm going to need the vault key, which will be there somewhere. But, in addition, um, I will need, um, I will need, the, I will need to recover the ring. That's kind of the whole reason we came to Leowin in the first place, that flipping ring. <laughs> so, that I'm going to need to get. Um, I'm curious, actually. This has got some interesting effects on them, haven't they? Um... Restore fatigue, one point on self constantly. Restore, resist fire. Fortify blade, resist magic. Resist normal weapons. Huh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's some evil looking armor. Good grief. Yeah, I don't think so. Although you do look quite dashing wearing that, I must say. Although it is in a slightly, I'm, you know, mouth of Sauron kind of a way. Uh, I think I'll, I'll stick to these, thanks very much. Where are my gauntlets there? Oh, my hood. Lots to wear my hood. So, we're going to head back to the Five Claws. Actually, no, we're not. I'm going to go try and sell some stuff. Uh, dividing, divide, dividing, dividing line. That's the one. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Perhaps you need new armor, a weapon. No, not I really. A large selection of both. I got a bit 30. Oh, you've only got 30 gold. That would explain uh, it. No. <laughs> A play. If it's broken, I can fit. 
Uh, wow, it's expensive to repair. Oh, forget about that. Uh, right. Maybe the cutthroat trader infomercial bastard back here. Maybe he'll buy it. I don't know. Probably for a ludicrously rip-off price, but you know. What do you want? What can oh, you're I not going to give me the sales pitch this time. Sell some of this to him at least. Curious weighs an absolute ton, so I guess I'll get rid of that. There Thank you. Right. Okay, so. It's really the only other shop around here, isn't it? So, yeah, there you go. Tell you what, I'll go put this out on the horse. Along with any unnecessary stuff that I'm not going to need tonight. Alright, let's see. Um, probably should have worn my Mithril armor on that trip in to, to, to deal with Black Brugo, I suppose, but... I just forgot it was on the horse, to be honest with you, and I reckon maybe Arthur was too lazy to go put it on. Um, yeah, I probably should have. Let's put that away. Um, don't need the Staff of Charm right now. Don't really necessarily need the weapons and stuff, do I either, really? Out of the way, these. Don't need them. Don't need the shirt. Don't need the layer wind shield. Um, all these freaking potions, but I can't bother to get rid of them. Well, now they're in my inventory, I'd rather they stayed there. Um, there's all these freaking ingredients as well. Whatever. I've got like a bajillion feather potions. It's fine. Um, just wanted to get rid of a few big bits like that armor that I don't need. Um, crystal decanter. I don't even remember where I stole that from. <laughs> um... Four hundred nine out of five. Damn, Patsy, you're getting heavy. Oh boy, yeah. Look at that running speed. <laughs> no. Oh, that's poor. That's like my running speed. If that actually is my running speed. Oh dear. Okay, right. Um. <sighs> okay, what have we got on you right now that we don't? Uh... Have them there. Too much stuff. Day carrying a Rikosi right overweight. You're carrying a Daedric freaking cuirass. Oh, I, <laughs> I need somewhere to put this. You know what? I know where I can put this. White Stallion Lodge. That's where I can go put this stuff. As we slowly ride. Like, I, it's too valuable to just throw away. I don't know what to sell it to right now. So, I'm going to go to this White Stallion Lodge. I'm going to put it there because I can. It's, it's kind of a house now that I sort of own, kind of, jointly with Mazoga, I suppose. I'm going to use this place to stash my stuff anyway. Either way, like it's a good good place to do that, honestly, out here in the countryside. Okay. Uh, Imperial Guard just running through there. Oh, hello, Merlin. Where have you been, anyway? What weird and crazy adventures have you been on in, uh, in your absence? Uh, all right, so... Uh, 
Uh, that. Oh, these freaking spare, like, uh. Um, I got an expert retort, so I don't need that. Don't need the novice calcinators. Oh, I got these books as well. Um, I don't need the bedrocks. I got the tent now. Mort. Um, and then there's these little bits and bobs. That wouldn't be too difficult to sell, though. There, much better. Oh, no, I'm over, over encumbered. Crap! I uh, need some can't carry bag of loot too heavy. It won't move. Uh. <coughs> uh. You know what my problem is, Patsy? I'm too bloody successful. <laughs> 